and welcome to today's video. Martine Cosmetics sent me their newest collection, their Neon Nitro Speed Collection. We have an eyeshadow palette, we have a cheek palette, eyeliners. We are going to do some looks, do some swatches. I am going to tell you my thoughts on this collection. We're just going to have a good time playing in makeup. I'm excited. Let's jump into it. <music> This collection box, let me flip it over. <laughs> this is a big collection. Do you see this? I was so excited to get this in the mail. It's like this theming neo, neon nitro speed. So it's like themed around like fast cars. And I just think that is so fun. Martine Cosmetics is a brand that I have really, really enjoyed. I think they make really nice products. You can definitely check out my playlist. I have a lot of Martine Cosmetics videos and we're gonna we're gonna create with this collection. I want to show you swatches of everything. I want to play with everything. So let let me get this stuff out of the box and we'll talk about it. Okay, let's first talk about this eyeshadow palette. This is the Neon Nitro Speed eyeshadow palette. So you see it has this fun like iridescent holographic ombre type of packaging inside well first of all we have a nice bright color story so fun we have this nice mirror with the flames and then the detailing on the packaging like it has these like flame prints on the packaging this is martine cosmetics like larger packaging and in the other palettes i have from martine i have some of their mini palettes i have some of their palettes that are just this big but this is the largest palette that i have ever tried from martine cosmetics it has this whole extra row of shadows and I'm really attracted to these bright tones. So let me show you a close up of this palette and swatches. Swatches are fun, but of course the true test of a shadow is going to be how it applies on the eyes. But I wanna show you the swatches anyways. I find Martine Cosmetics to be a indie brand, indie meaning independently owned. It is based out of Europe, but I find Martine Cosmetics shadows to be very easy to work with. They have a nice pigment to them. The shimmers are very smooth. They are shadows that I would consider to be very flattering on any texture on the lids. And they do some really fun color stories. So I'm looking forward to creating with these mattes and these shimmer shades. It looks like this palette has just enough kind of neutrally tones or neutral leaning tones that you could create something kind of muted if you want. But overall, we do have a very bright, vibrant color story with shades going from very light to very dark. And I am super excited. I think we're gonna create, well, I know we're gonna create some looks with this. I cannot wait to play with this. These two shades right here are just calling my name. So I'm excited about this. Then we have a cheek palette. Now I have tried highlighters from Martine Cosmetics before, but I don't think I've ever tried their blush formula. So we have the Neon Nitro Speed Face Palette. Again, we have that beautiful holographic kind of ombre packaging. Opening it up, isn't she beautiful? Let me show you a close up and swatches of this one too. I know with the face products, swatches aren't always helpful because usually you're kind of sharing them out on the cheeks, but we do have a matte orange blush. We have a glowy kind of baby pink blush and we have two highlighters. This I think is gonna be beautiful as a blush topper, especially on top of this orange matte blush. And then we have a very, what looks like it's gonna be a very sparkly highlighter right here. So I'm excited. We're gonna put these on the face. We're gonna see how these look. I cannot wait to try Martine Cosmetics blush formula. And then we do have three 
pencil liners and one liquid liner. Now this liquid liner is purple and then we do have a pink, green, and purple pencil liner. So I'm gonna show you swatches of these as well, but we will also wear these on the eyes. Now, I really like this format of eyeliner from Martique Cosmetics. I have an orange one from one of their collections and it lasts so well on my waterline. So I'm super excited about these. This, what we're gonna do is play with this collection. You've seen the swatches, now I'm ready to get into the application. So I'm gonna put down an eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna zoom y'all in and we will start with the eyes. What we're gonna do today is a I look here and I look here, two different looks so we can play with a lot of shadows. See how this comes together, let me zoom y'all in. Okay, so I have my eye primed for shadow and I want to do something, whoops, with these greens and yellows. This is just looking so pretty to me. So I think what we'll do is we'll kind of start with this green right here, Vince, and then we'll buff it out with Julia. So I'm sure you could see in the close-up of this palette, but Martin Cosmetics, like, puts embossing on their pans and they do a lot of different prints usually and I just think it's such a fun special detail. So this one Vince has the word speed in the pan and then Julia has like a motorcycle helmet or a race car helmet. Really really cute but all that said we're gonna start <laughs> we're gonna start with the green. Okay so I'm gonna be using my Sigma favorites brushes for this eye look. So I'm just taking that green and what I'm doing is first kind of pressing it right onto my primer. And then once I kind of have it pressed on, I'm just going to lightly blend. This shade is super duper pretty. I find Martine Cosmetics shadows really easy to work with. And I'm just going to lightly, lightly blend and then we're going to go in with that yellow and kind of diffuse everything but I'm going to take that green on the lid just on the outer part of my lid so just in this outer part but then I'm not going to worry about the inner part of the lid because we're going to cover that up but this is going to be a very bright look Okay, I've got that shade Julia, the yellow, and I'm going to kind of go right above and a little on top of that green. I just want to lightly put this along the edges of the green to kind of blend and give some dimension to our look so it kind of fades from this beautiful kind of like almost sour apple type of green to this pretty yellow shade. And this brush is super fluffy, so it's not gonna deposit a ton of color. It's just gonna give me that little bit of yellow. Okay, for the lid, I really wanna use this shade right here. Now, if you wanted to keep it a little more like just green, you could definitely go with this shade right here. That would be light and bright and beautiful. But I wanna pull in this shade. I think it's gonna be really pretty with these mattes. So this is the shade called Dom, and it has like a P, I think like a parking symbol. So I'm gonna pick this up and I am gonna spray my brush after I pick up the shadow. I'm gonna spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray, makeup mist, whatever, just to help kind of minimize fallout. Okay, so we're gonna put this color here. I really like this shade. So Martine, like I said, they do really pretty shimmer shades and this is like a true shimmer formula very very pretty you can definitely see like how it how it looks how it applies i'm just kind of pressing it on first and then i go in and blend after i kind of have the shadow pressed off my brush i'm going to put this all over my lid i'm going to bring it up high and I'm going to bring it out, but I'm not going to cover up the matte in the outer part of our lid. I want to keep that matte 
Okay, for the lower lash line, I want to pull in some blue. So I'm going to go with this shade right here, Monica. It has a car embossed in the pan. And then Benny, I don't know what this is. It may be like a, a gear shift, I think. That's probably it. Okay, those are the two shades we're going to put on the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm going to start with Monica. And this is just going to go right up against our lower lashes. I have hair. I have hair in my mouth stuck to my lip gloss. So I'm just going to put that right there back and forth. And then I'm going to buff more with that lighter shade. Okay, so now I'm taking the shade Benny. And I'm just going to put that underneath where we put the shade Monica. So it's just going to go like this. I really like these shades together. That is really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to buff, buff, buff like that. And then we are going to highlight the inner corner. So to highlight the inner corner, I definitely have several options in this palette. I could do it with this matte white. I could do it with this light green right here. We we have we have options, but what I'm going to do is go in with this matte kind of like pastel-y neon shade. This is called Monarch and it has the word nitro embossed in the pan. All right, so I'm just going to pop this shade right here. That is beautiful. Wow. Okay. I really like the way this is coming together. And I'm just going to see if I need to do any more blending. For the waterline, let's go in with the green liner from this collection. This is uh, neon green. And I hope this has the same staying powder. Powder power as the orange liner in this formula. They're, they're coal eyeliners. And this does have flames on the bottom, which I like that too. I like that this end has the shade. So when I'm storing these, I can easily see the color. But I'm just going to put this in my waterline. That is really pretty. I'm going to leave this eye look here for now. We'll do mascara and everything after, but I do want to go ahead and put on eyeshadow primer and we'll create a look right over here. But I'm loving this look. I like how light and bright it is. If you wanted to make this like a little deeper, give it a little more like drama, you could definitely add some black to the outer corner or even like the darker blue, but I wanted to keep it kind of light and fun. So I'm gonna leave it here, but let me prime this eye and we will create another look. I think we're gonna keep the sh same like shape, maybe same like kind of color placement, but with the different colors, just so that my eye look still looks cohesive, even though it's gonna be different colors. I don't know if that makes sense, but it will. Okay, so over here, what we're gonna start off with is this hot pink shade. This is called Raquel, and it has like a racing flag on the pan. And then we'll go in with Tej Parker. It's like a wheel on fire, like a wheel with flames. So we'll start with this shade, and then we'll buff it out with this lighter pink. Okay, so I'm just going to push this shade all in the socket up and around right on top of that eye primer and I'm gonna put this in the same place that we started our green shade with over here again I'm trying to keep kind of my shape cohesive from one look to the other so I'm just going to press that on and again I'm just gonna be using brushes from my Sigma favorite set for this look as well all right, now I've got that lighter pink shadow on my fluffy brush, and I'm just going to buff this along the edge of that darker pink. I really like how bright these shades are. This is so fun, especially right now. Like, this makes me think of summer, and it is full-on summer here. Like, it is... 
over 90 degrees so it is full on summer but I mean wear your makeup whenever you want to don't let the season tell you how to wear your makeup wear neons in the fall wear jewel tones in the spring it doesn't matter but I do think it can be fun to be kind of inspired by the season if you're needing a little inspiration Okay, now we're gonna go in with a shimmer on the lid and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is a duochrome. It's kind of like this like raspberry type of color to like a rose gold. So really pretty duochrome in this palette. This is called Luke. Okay, so I'm gonna do this shimmer in the same placement that we put the shimmer over here. Just putting this all over my lid, kind of pressing it on first and then blending it in. And I'm going to leave the outer portion of my lid matte. Okay, for the lash line over here, instead of matte shades, I'm gonna go in with these pretty shimmers. So I wanna go in first with this shade right here, Thin. It's this really pretty purple. It's, it's a very like traditional shimmer formula, not a ton of sparkle, just a smooth formula. And then I'm gonna go in and kind of blend it out with this shade right here called Tanner. This one is more sparkly, and you're gonna see when we apply them that this one is a little more smooth, whereas this one has a little more sparkle to it. And I think they're gonna look really cool on the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna take this deeper purple shade and I'm gonna press this right up against my lower lash line. Now this shade kind of has like a stoplight embossed on the pan, which is fun. And then we'll go in with that other shade and it had like a trophy printed in the pan. All right, once I have that purple deepened up, how I like it, I'm gonna go in with the more sparkly shade. And can you see the kind of sparkle reflex? that I'm talking about. Like it's definitely a different shimmer formula. Very pretty. A little bit of sparkle. No pressed glitters in this palette though. I'm sure you could tell, but definitely a different shimmer formula. Really, really pretty. All right, the last step for this eye look is going to be to highlight the inner corner. And I wanna use another one of the shimmer shades. This is really pretty, like kind of duochrome as well. This one, definitely deeper, stronger shift. This one is very slight. It's like a light pink to a light rose gold. And it says uh, vroom vroom on the pan. That's so cute. So we're gonna highlight the inner corner with this shade. Okay, I'm just gonna use the mirror in the palette and tap that shade on right here. Oh, that's pretty, I like that. That's so fun, I like both of these eye looks. Okay, I will throw on liner. Actually, let me show you the liquid liner. Let me show you the purple. But first, let's put, Let's put, I'm trying to think, should I put the pink in the waterline or the purple? I'm thinking the pink, because we kind of contrasted here. So let's contrast here. Let's do pink in the waterline, and this is just called neon pink. Okay, I have never used a liquid liner from Martine Cosmetics. This is a felt tip. Now, normally my favorite liquid liners have a brush tip, but that's all about preference. So let's see, this is their liquid eyeliner in deep purple. Oh, that's really pretty. I was wondering if this would be pigmented enough to go over shadow because sometimes when you have a liquid liner that is just no good, it kind of drags and tugs and it doesn't want to go on top of shadow. But this one, this one is pigmented and really pretty. Okay, I'm impressed. That makes me happy. Of course, with eyeliners, I really have to test them for a while to know like how long they last, how long they stay, do they smudge? So I'll just remind you that this of course like is a video where I'm showing this collection off and everything like that, creating looks, but I will do a follow-up review on this collection after I've tested and tried things more and more, worn them longer amounts of time, things like that, I will follow up. So, so far though, 
I'm impressed. But make sure you subscribe if you want to like make sure you don't miss out on my follow-up, my full thoughts. I'm going to throw on some mascara, probably a lash, and then we will play with the blush palette. All right, y'all, here is our eye look. I did put on some lashes. These are the Unearthly Cosmetics Heavenly Lashes. Just something kind of light and wispy. My lip color is actually Martine Cosmetics. It's the Liquid Lip in Angel and the lip gloss in Astrid. So that's what's on my lips. I'll put everything down in the description box. I'll link as much as I can there, but I am ready to try our face palette. So I thought we would do like some on each side so I can show you what they look like. For this side over here, let's go in with this matte orange blush, and then we'll kind of use this shade as a blush topper. Although I think it would be a beautiful highlight color on deeper skin. For me, it's definitely going to be like a more topper shade. So we're going to first go in with Leon. Okay, so I'm using a BK Beauty 108. And we'll just put this blush right here on our cheeks. Let me move my hair out of the way. That's pretty. That's very pretty. Okay, so I started off with just a little bit of product and it was giving me a beautiful flush. And now I'm just building it up a little bit just so you can see kind of that this is a buildable blush formula. And if you want more pigment, like you definitely could build it. That is really pretty. Looks very like sun-kissed. Okay, I like that. Okay, I'm going to take another BK Beauty brush and we'll go into Sierra and I'm going to put this like right on top of the blush to make this more of a glowy blush instead of a matte and that's really pretty as well. Oh, I like that. That looks good together. Okay, all right, I'm here for it. Okay, over here, we will go in first with our very glowy pink blush for Nanda, and then we will kind of use this sparkly shade, uh, Angelica, as a highlight. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the blush on a blinged brush. Oh, that for me is a highlight shade. That is a light color. In the future, I will use this as a highlighter, not as a blush, not as a blush, but hey, that's the beauty of videos like this. We get to try things, right? Oh, that is a highlighter shade for me. Yes, that is a highlighter shade for me. If you have a light skin tone or fair skin tone, probably definitely use it as a glowy blush, but very light for me. I almost don't want to put more highlighter over this, so let's take Angelica and we'll put that down the nose and I'll use it as a face highlighter in our next look because this is already like so glowy. So I'll just put this down the nose. It's this kind of like pinky purpley kind of icy highlighter, but yeah, this, this shade I would use as, as a like blush topper highlighter shade too, but I am very much feeling my looks. I think these looks are super, super pretty. Mm -mm. Very light and bright, both of these, but I do think for the next look, I will, I will give us some depth and darkness so that you can see like the possibilities with this palette, but I'm feeling these eye looks. I hope that you liked them. So we'll say look one, look two, and we'll move on to the next. All right, y'all, we're going to be doing a third look today. Good morning. It is morning for me. It is quite early. I have a lot to do today, but I want to get ready with y'all. I want to create a look and I'm really gravitating towards this orangey shade. It's kind of like this peak orange tone. I really want to use this today, but I'm going to put down in 
like an eyeshadow primer and I think we're actually gonna start with this shade right here called Larissa this really pretty like baby pink with this little bit of like gold shift to it we're gonna put this shade down and then we'll go in with slapjack or more orange matte all right for this look I'm gonna use some of my singe beauty brushes and I'm going to start with this shimmer shade right here. I'm going to bring it down to the inner corner and kind of wrap it a little bit like that. I want this shimmer to be like this, almost like a backwards C right here. That way it's not just in the inner corner, but it comes up high and it wraps just right here okay now I'm gonna take slap jack and I'm gonna make sure I don't have any creases in my primer and I'm going to press this orangey peachy shade all right in here and I'm going to drag it out a bit just to kind of open up my eye and I'm just going to kind of blend this back and forth like this. I'm not worried about blending in here because we're gonna cover that up in a bit, but I do wanna have kind of a nice fade from that first shimmer shade we started with into this matte shade. Okay, I wanna play with the black shade in this palette. This is called Mario. I'm gonna pick this up on this small brush and I'm gonna press it on the lash line in the outer part of my lid and I'm going to swirl it out but I'm not going to bring it up super high I want to keep it kind of low just so we have some depth I want to play with the black I want to see how it is and I'm going to be careful not to over blend I'm going to take it just a little bit under the outer part of my lower lash line too. That looks really pretty though. Okay. All right. When I pick it up on my finger, it feels a little bit more like a creamy type texture, not a full on cream, but definitely has that kind of like that, that kind of like slip feel to this matte. So I think it would probably be really good for layering too. When we get to put something on the lid, I'll kind of carry it over a little bit. So we'll see how it does with that. But that is looking really pretty. Again, I'm just using my singe brushes. Okay, so this is the black shade I used. I am going to do a little more blending here in a minute, but I want to get my lid shade on. I was kind of going back and forth in between these two. If you want to do something a little bit brighter to, you know, just keep the depth in that outer corner, I think this shade would be really pretty. This, um, like more orangey gold shade but I want to add in this bronze this bronze looks really pretty to me this is called Brian so I'm gonna put this down on the lid I am going to go in with a little bit of like sticky primer a little bit of shimmer stay right in between the black and this light shimmer that we started with just to make this shade like super impactful help me minimize fallout so we're gonna put this just right in here okay so what I'm gonna do is tap this shade right on top of that shimmer stay and then once I have it completely like tapped off my brush set down on top of that shimmer stay then I will go back and I will kind of blend a little bit to make sure I get all in my little wrinkles and crinkles but right now I'm just gonna focus on tapping this shade on I'm really glad I went with this shade I think it's gonna give us a beautiful transition from kind of this light shimmer to this bronzy shimmer to then this black in the outer corner but I'm just gonna let that set down for a second and then 
I will blend. Before we move on to the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a little bit of that matte that we put here, this kind of orangey peach matte, and I'm just going to do a little more blending, and I'm going to blend along kind of the outer edge of that black shade so that we kind of have a nice soft fade right out here. Okay, I am going to use the purple liner in my lower waterline. I really want to use all of the eyeliners and the pink and green stayed in my waterline so well, just like the orange that I had previously does. So I'm so happy about that. I need a liner that stays in my waterline. <laughs> so I'm really happy that these are working well. This is the shade name Electric Violet. I'm just going to put that in my waterline before we go in with our shadow. And I'm also going to drag it underneath a little bit to kind of act as a base for our shadow. Okay, I'm going to jump over to this shade right here. This has like a motorcycle printed on it. It looks really cool. Like a kind of darker version of this shade, but not completely red like this one. So I'm going to take this and then I think I'm going to add in just a little pink shimmer called Mia right here. I want to put this on the lower lash line. Okay, so I've got that matte shade on a brush from my Sigma favorite set and I want to be really careful with this. I want to take it and kind of rub it into that purple like this, but I don't want to lose control of it. So I'm just going to keep it right in here. I'm really enjoying this palette. It feels really consistent with the last few palettes that I've tried from the brand. Really pretty, like their Triple X palette and their like ski resort themed collection that they had. It's feeling really nice, but I will remind you, my videos on new makeup, things like that, I love new makeup. I love buying new makeup. I love testing new makeup. I love playing with it, but I'm never trying to convince you that you need new makeup. If you were considering this collection, I hope that my videos are helpful sharing my thoughts and tutorials, but if you're on a low buy or no buy and you want to shop your stash and create these looks, that's awesome too. Or maybe you're not even into makeup and you just want to hang out. I hope you have a good time. I hope you enjoy my video. I just always like to remind you that I'm never trying to convince you to buy products. I'm just out here doing my makeup, giving my opinions. <laughs> Okay, I want to add a little bit of that pink shimmer now, and I'm going to stay with the same Sigma brush and go into Mia, and I'm just lightly, lightly going to tap that on to add a little bit of that shimmer. Now, I am really liking the pop of purple in our waterline. I think that's so fun, but you could definitely use black liner if you wanted to do that too, or if you had a nice kind of like coral liner, I think that would be beautiful. But I'm going to finish blending. I'm going to throw on some mascara and I think I'm just going to do a half lash and I'll come back and show you the finished look. I am wearing the cheek palette again. <laughs> I did have to laugh at myself yesterday. I was definitely giving like Tin Man vibes, having that blush shimmer all over my cheeks. It was so light for me. But today what I did is I put on um, this orange matte as blush. And then I went in, instead of using the shade <laughs> as a blush, I used it as a little bit of a highlighter. And then I took Angelica, because I like this shade so much. I took it kind of down my nose and just right back here, kind of on the high points of my cheek, my cupid's bow. So I had fun with this today, just, you know, not using this as a blush, using it more as a highlight on me. So 
I, I uh, like it much better that way. Yesterday was definitely a little bit of disaster. When, whereas that that uh, shade did not look the best on me. But like I said, I'm going to finish up blending, do my mascara, and then oh, I need to pick a lip color and I will be right back. Okay, y'all, here is the finished look. I just threw on a half lash. This is Melt Johnny Lash. Put a little black on the upper lash line. And then my lip color is Martine Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Bertil. And then Secret Sauce, just their clear lip gloss. So here's our finished look. I'm really, really into it. I really like this face palette. Now that I look at this as a blush, a blush topper, and two highlighter shades, I'm into this. I really like this more sparkly, iridescent type of highlighter, Angelica. I think that is really, really pretty. And I like this orange blush, especially when topped with this highlight that I just kind of made a blush topper for myself. Really, really into that. The liners, very, very great at staying in my waterline. I like that a lot. That makes me so happy. I am into these. I thought this liner was really nice too. The liquid liner, it makes me want to go buy their black liquid liner. Like I said, I'm not usually into a felt tip, but this one, it worked really well and the purple stayed. Like it did not smudge yesterday and I like that a lot as well. This palette, I have to say this is probably some of my favorite Martine packaging. I know it's bigger. In their last collection, the Moolah collection, we did have a more slim sleek palette and I really liked that but there's something about this purple pink orange ombre with the like holographic detail that I'm just attracted to and I like very much. Now, I swatched every shade and we used most of the shades on the eyes, but I did not use every shade on the eyes yet. I am going to keep playing with this palette. I'm going to keep testing it, all of that, and I will follow up my thoughts, not only on the palette, but on the face palette, the liners. I will do a follow up. So definitely subscribe if you want to make sure you don't miss my follow up reviews because I'll put this in a palette speed review ranking, something like that. The same with the other products. But overall, I think this is a fun palette. I really like these bright colors. I had a great time with all of these. This is consistent with the Martine Cosmetics formulas that I know and love. So I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. I'm enjoying my look today. I'm here for it, but I guess somebody, the, the mail must be at my door because you hear my dog barking. I'm gonna go check on that. I'm going to spend some time with my family. I hope you're having an amazing day. Subscribe and I will see you soon in another video. Bye.